night. And it's about finding God in the ordinary. But sometimes we have to look to God in the extraordinary. So I'd like to invite my friend and colleague, Brother Sandy, to come forward. Because like John Bosco, Brother Sandy is a magician. And how do we find God in the extraordinary? Um, I've got before me uh, three different lengths rope. The small one, there's a medium one, and there's a large one. Can I just ask you just to check the real? Nothing funny about them. I don't know. When I was in the kids, do, don't pick me in. Um, are you happy those are three genuinely real ropes with nothing funny about them? Okay. This is the small one. It's a small rope. This one is the long rope, and this one is the medium rope. Okay, three clearly different sides of the rope. Right, but it's not the same. Okay, don't look scared. Okay, so they are three clearly different sides of the rope. Yes, sure. Should you turn that one on big one so they can see it? Yeah, right. Thanks. Right, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the medium one <coughs> up into my hand, and I'm going to take the long one. So I've now got all the ends in my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to click a finger, and I'm going to go busy magic and wave my hand across there. Here's everything. Okay. So, if you can make a little ooh, sound before my hand. Okay. So, you ready? Finding God in the ordinary or in the extraordinary. If you go to Turin, and I hope some of you will be moved by this pilgrimage to go to where it all started, just outside our basilica, quite nearby, the Basilica of Mary Help of Christians, is a roundabout. And it's called Gallows Roundabout. For an obvious reason, because that's where the gallows used to be. And John Bosco, in his early priestly ministry, when he'd just come out of the seminary, spent a lot of time working with another great saint of Turin called Don Cafasso. And he was the minister, the chaplain, if you like, to the Young Offenders Institute. And he would see loads and loads of young people being sent to prison, sometimes for the most trivial of offences. And Bosco saw the degradation. Bosco saw the horrors of the prison system. He saw the lice and the food that was practically non-existent. And he felt that if only we could do something to help these young people, they wouldn't end up back inside again. Because that's what was happening. They were ending up back inside. And sadly, some of them met their fate on what we now call Gallows Roundabout in Chile. They met their fate in death. And you know what, Don Bosco used to go and help at the public executions, but by his own admission, he couldn't hack it. He 
couldn't cope with it. It was all too much for him. And he thought, how am I going to stop these young people ending up like this? How am I going to stop them ending up in prison and then coming back into prison again and doing something more stupid and ending up at the gallows roundabout? I've got to try and do something to make sure that they don't end up inside. And that's when he got that great grace from God to start thinking about how he could do small things on the outside to help these young men, to give them a purpose in life, to give them meaning in life, to give them a future.